Greetings and welcome back to Robocraft! But, uh, as you've no doubt already noticed, this is not Rough My Bot. Bot. This is a self-named robot in Bay One. That is, that it's not, well, it is me, but it's not me at the same time. That's right, this is a new account. And before I get down to anything else, this is even a new version. But uh, to answer the, the almost certain question that you have, no, my other account is perfectly fine. It hasn't been banned, hasn't been hacked. The, nothing bad has happened to it. It is exactly as we have left it. Safe and sound. No, I made this a new account for a very specific reason. Now, recently, a, uh, someone on Twitter gave me a bit of an idea. Harry Cole. They didn't specifically uh, tell me to do this, but uh, rather some, uh, a comment they made gave me a bit of an idea. They mentioned that uh, my Solenopsis in Victor, uh, sorry, in Victor video had helped them get to tier five um, using a bit of a, a adjusted one from tier four to tier five, and. That's actually something that I, I get asked a lot, not specifically how to get to tier 5, though actually that has been asked a few times, but just in general, how to move from one tier to another. And that has been a bit of a problem for me to answer. It's not easy, once you actually started unlocking things, and this is a brand new account, as you'll notice I'm only level 1, I have 425 PFLOPs, this is the starter robot, and uh, if we go to my tech tree, I have nothing, absolutely nothing at all. Now, the reason why it's difficult for me to, to answer that particular question is because once you've actually started to advance, it's hard to build bots that are restricted in the right ways. Um, I have access to components, and I simply have uh, enough CPU that I can build quite large bots, so it's very easy for me to move from one tier to another. And even now, at the higher point of, of, of where I'm currently playing at, it's very easy for me to move myself into the next tier, even though I'm unprepared. So, I thought I would uh, take a little little break, a, a little detour from my regular Robocraft videos and to do this. I've made a new account so that I will be completely restricted in exactly the same ways. This is not going to just be a tutorial on a bot that will move from tier 1 to tier 2. Now, this is going to be a little bit different. This is going to be a bit of a, a tier tutorial. Not just this video, but po possibly the next five or so. My plan is to move from tier 1 to tier 5 and document my journey, how long it takes, the bots I build and how I make them as I go, what I unlock. I'm not going to include all of the footage because as you can imagine there's going to be a lot of grinding involved. I'm going to need to grind up the RP to build the bots I need and especially the TP to unlock the technologies I'm going to need. But I'm going to try and uh, keep most of the building in the videos, or, or at least any uh, significant changes, will, will be done on camera, as it were. But with the fights, I will probably have just a sort of a, a selection of the fighting that actually goes on, um, rather than all of it. But the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, taking apart this bot. And there's a very easy way to do that that uh, someone in the comments actually pointed me to. If you make one block with a seat on it, then try to go into practice, or uh, actually try to go to battle. No. Uh, oh, I've got to have a functional component. That's right. <laughs> I was like, oh no, have they changed that in the recent patch? I will get on to what the patch involves in just a moment. But there we are. Try to go to practice. It says some of the cubes are not connected to your pilot seat. The disconnected cubes will be returned to your inventory before battle. Okay. There we go. It doesn't put you into battle. But there we are. There, that's a very, very nice, easy way to insta-delete an entire bot without selling it, which is the only other option, which is kind of annoying. But before we get down to the nitty-gritty of uh, building a bot, I am going to just start putting one together now. We have a new patch, a rather big one, in fact. And a lot of people have asked about Robocraft on Mac and uh, Linux, so... Ah, damn it. That's uh, what I get for talking about something completely unrelated to what I'm doing. But uh, that is now out. You can now play Robocraft on Mac and Linux. So uh, understand that they're probably going to be a little tiny bit more buggy than the, the Windows version. But uh, going forward, the idea is to have no um, particular... Uh, separation between the operating systems, the, the, the patches to the operating systems is not going to be released on different days or anything at all like that. 
what uh, Windows users have will be available to Mac users on the exactly the same day, same with Linux users. And generally speaking, once the initial kind of launch bugs, because there are going to be a few, in fact, that's one of the reasons why I haven't uploaded any videos for the last few days is because uh, the servers have been going up and down whilst this is all being, put, being pushed through. But uh, now that that's done, I'm hoping that uh, we're going to be free of those sorts of uh, concerns. But going forward, all patches are going to be released on the same day, and, and generally speaking, the the different versions will will be kept in, alongside each other, it's synchronized, if you if you will. So there's not going to be any functional difference between them. And the further away we get from uh, launch, the better it's going to be, and the, the sooner these. Uh, these initial launch bugs will be completely out of the system. Now, there are a couple of other things. You're not going to be able to see the chat changes, but I'll quickly go over them. Now, based on the highest tier that you've actually gotten into, uh, that is at all, you, you don't need to be in there at the moment. But, for example, if you've gotten a bot up to tier 6, you will be considered a tier 6 player, and you'll have a different chat color. Uh, the, the way they put it was... Uh, Everything below tier 6 is a trainee, and tier 6 then up to tier 10 are regular players, and then tier 10 are just, you know, the, the primo players, the, the ones who, who've risen to the, the top of the, the battle charts, and they get a nice gold name. The play, tier 6 and up players get blue names, and anything below that gets the regular white. Also, mods and, and admins and things like that will have uh, golden names. Cue all of the tier 10 players pretending to be admins. Oh, you scallywags. Other than that, uh, we also have colored text is now open to everyone. Uh, I, they, they, it's a bit of a, a, a thing. I, loads of people will talk in color in chat, but uh, half the, the people will then be asking, oh, how do you do that? And a bit, a bit of wizardry, really. Um, I, I'm fairly certain that it is a union and you're not allowed to just flat out tell people how to do it So I'm not going to but it is actually on the blog Let the devs have all of the curses heaped upon them I'm not going to get involved in any of that, but you can just check out how to get uh, Colored text without any problems Now oh, there we go. I actually want those to be these types of blocks. There we are Fantastic right we have a have a little bit of a buggy there now, one of the uh, next changes, as I mentioned a long time ago, the robots can now have... Uh, actually, I want that to be to come out just a little bit more. Robots, when spotted, now actually have uh, the type of robot it is designated. So if you spot a robot without any weapons, you'll get, uh, it'll announce that you've spotted a scout. If you spot a robot with plasma, it'll, it'll announce that it's a plasma equipped robot. I think the things that it uh, focuses on are the type of locomotion it uses and the weapon it is equipped with. So that that's how it uh, decides what type of bot something is when you, you spot it. It's not a particularly uh, in-depth way uh, of doing it, but it, it certainly seems like it would work well. There we are. There's our six lasers. That should give us uh, plenty of firepower. And, well, hmm. I actually don't like having them all like a stairs like that. It kind of looks gun table-y. So we're going we're gonna to change that. We'll have these two up here instead. I know it doesn't make that much of a difference, all things considered, but uh, it, it's enough of a difference to me. There we go. Well, it's kind of... I'm not really sure what this protrusion is at the back there, but uh, it is what it is, uh, and I stand by it. There we go. We can even have a couple of more at the front if I particularly want to. Um... No, what we want are... Uh, oh, I don't even have any radars, really? Oh, my lord! Newbies these days really get uh, the, the shitty end of the stick when it comes to components. My goodness. There we go. We'll uh, just uh, pop a few things on there. My lord, we're already halfway through tier one. This is not going to take me very long. All right. But uh, actually, I'm, I'm all out of guns. I only have 250 RP. Hmm. Maybe I could stick some more wheels on this. No, I'm, I'm fairly happy. I'll actually take this out and practice a little bit with it. Let's see how this drives. Now, with the robot classification, it'll also um, add a icon 
next to the robot. Uh, indeed, also when you're in the, I won't be able to show you this in practice, but uh, you'll actually see a little icon above your allies that lets you know what platoon they're in. It seems that the, the announcer has a little bit of a list though, because uh, its S's sound like T's. Ah, really? That's embarrassing. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, that's that's the usual problem I suffer with, and that is putting drive wheels all over it so that it can just spin itself out like that. I'll just put, uh, sorry, uh, steering wheels. Let me put drive wheels on the back, and that might actually help with uh, that particular problem. Let's do this instead. There we go. So we'll, we'll have front wheel steering. There we are. Or alternatively, I could have... Well, actually, let me... let me. I really do like having steering wheels all over. Let me uh, adjust the shape down here instead. So I'll get rid of that and uh, bring this out instead. There we go. And then... Like so. There we are. So those wheels are... Far too far out. That looks just ridiculous. There we go. Maybe that will look a little bit better. I'm not sure. That looks silly now, though. Mm. Uh, I'm not liking that. No, 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 no. We need to change this up. Let me think. We could do this, perhaps. That will push out just a little bit. There we are. That actually isn't too bad. It's got a nice little shape there as well. He gets. Right, so we want this to come out one. There we are. And we want steering wheels on all sides. Right, okay, we're going to jump back into practice. Now, as I was saying, you get a, a little shield with a number next to your allies in your platoon. So it's very easy for you to see where your platoon mates are, which is actually going to be quite useful. Uh, you will also see a little shield with a number on the enemy team, though in practice I've noticed all of them have that one, so I can only assume that all uh, bots are on the same platoon in practice. But none of these have any weapons, so uh, they'll all be scouts, so we'll get a lot of lisps until I've killed something. But the other thing you'll notice is there's a, a little kind of eye icon, let me uh, just position it there little kind of oval to represent an eye and the different classes of robots all have different types of icons over them so uh, the scouts have an eye the a circle just a solid circle is plasma an arrow is rail cannons and a cross is an smg now uh, this little vehicle seems okay for me to take out you'll also notice there's new music there are four new musical tracks that have been made by the uh, fine fellows at Free Jam themselves. So they are, in their own words, free for anyone to rip the tracks and use them in your YouTube videos. I assume they mean YouTube videos of uh, Robocraft. Let's not be cheeky now. And uh, we've got a couple of different uh, battle themes. There, there are four in, in total, but uh, they'll also be releasing the MP3s of that as well. I really wish I did have some uh, radar to put on this, but alas, that is a bit of a pain. Well, if I don't have radar, I might as well go ahead and put this there then. No? Oh, I don't have any more. Okay, well, that, that's rather unfortunate. Right, well, let's uh, go ahead and jump into the next battle. As you can see, this screen has changed quite a lot, and it actually looks quite awesome, if you ask me. You no longer see how many are online. That doesn't really matter to anyone, so why were we uh, finding that out? Well, I guess it could matter in a bit of a way, but... Uh, Right. Oh, I, I didn't rename it, my lord. And I didn't reactivate chat. Double, my lord. Oh, this is going to be undapper of me. But it will give me an opportunity to illustrate one of the new changes, which is base cap reset and victory bonus. The uh, There's a 20% buff to victory bonus, so it really does matter if you actually win now. And, okay, are we moving? Yes. Yes, we just... Oh, wow. Someone's made... Oh, it looks like a man. Well, maybe not. My idea of what looks like a man is apparently very weird. Very artistic. And as you can see, all of our teammates actually have... It isn't just platoons by the looks of it. They all have icons above them. So they're all SMG boats. Oh, watch out, you fool. It is actually a man. Oh, I was right the first time. With huge biceps. My goodness. He must like his spinach. Okay, let's go and uh, find someone to fight. I quite like these new music tracks, though I'm not sure if I'm going to have them 
in my videos beyond this one. I just kind of want to show it off for now. Is anyone coming with me or are they all gone somewhere else? There's one fellow over there. Okay, well, uh, let's try and take you on then. And spot you as well. Oh, SMG spotted for the I couldn't quite make it out. No, no, no. One doesn't run away. Oh, wow. Level 2 already. That was faster than I was expecting. Right, where are the enemies? There's no one spotting. I find that most silly. I need spotting because I haven't got radar, you fools. Uh, okay. I'm going to go and find some of them. Right. I'm going to try and get up behind these guys. Go for a flanking maneuver. Now, in addition to the 20% uh, victory buff, there are some audio cues which are attached to the capture point reset that occurs when you take damage while capturing. I guess it would be a good time to illustrate that. I'm going to start to capture, and if I should take damage, it resets me capturing it. It lets me know by... Uh, kicking in the little audio cue there and I let my allies know as well. It isn't just me who gets that, that cue. But uh, So now, if you're capping a base but someone's constantly plinking at you, it's just going to constantly reset your capture. It won't reset it all the way to zero, it'll reset it back to the last full section that you've managed to capture. As, oh, it looks like it'll reset everyone's capture, doesn't it? Oh, wow, that's quite interesting. It looks like it isn't just your capture. I thought maybe it was just you, but uh, it looks like if anyone on the base is hit, it pauses the uh, capture attempt. Now, that is going to be very interesting and also possibly very annoying, at least in the later tiers where you've got satellites. But it does actually... It is something that I kind of like in that it means that it's going to put a much bigger emphasis on actually fighting instead of just run, rushing past the enemy and then seeing who can capture the base the fastest on, on the other side. In fact, uh, well, I would go back and try and stop those guys from capturing at all, but I've only got two guns and three wheels, so it wouldn't work too well. There we are, first victory. Our first game with this, uh, with this account and first victory as well. Fantastic, I see. Now, let's see. Ah, uh, first victory bonus. That, my, that is a lot of RP. That is... Wow. Okay, that's quite a lot of TP as well. I had no idea it was this easy. My goodness. I don't know what you're all complaining about. In my day, we were lucky if we got two victory points for winning. Uh, tech points. Right, okay, let's uh, go and see what we want to unlock. Uh, I sound like an old man then. Right, I would like radar. Absolutely. Oh, can I get a rect alignment rectifier as well? Yes. Can't get those, though. They need level 3 points. I'm assuming. Yes. Okay. Uh, tier 2 wheels? Yeah, sure. Well, uh, Actually, I've only got 19. I would prefer tier 2 guns, actually. And then some armor cues. Okay. So we haven't improved our speed at all. But we have improved our electronic suite. So we're going to buy a radar. We're also going to buy an alignment rectifier. We will also... Oh, see, I don't particularly like the front-mounted guns. I'll buy one of them. Well, actually, I've got some cubes where I might be able to equip them, so I'll buy two. There we go. My lord, I've got so much money. I really wasn't expecting it to be that easy to get that first little bump there. Uh, let's bring this out, shall we? We will have them facing forward, because uh, they are forward-facing guns, after all. Can I? No. Can I turn it in any way? Ah, really? Ah, there, oh, there we are. Now, another thing that has actually been fixed is the uh, placement logic for detecting illegal positioning. That was kind of a big issue, honestly. Um, because people were glitching crazy stuff. I really had no idea that it was as bad as it was, but I, I saw some screenshots of people with practically a plasma cannon on every single tile. How they managed to do that, I have no idea. I don't tend to look for bugs like that. I mean, if, if I'm playing an alpha game, I do try to, to help with bugs. Like, if I notice something odd happening, I'll, I'll do experiments and find out how to reproduce it. But that's as far as I go. I don't actively look to try and break the game. Certainly not in some way that will give me a massive advantage. I have no idea how they could do that. But they did. And, uh... <laughs> 
I'm glad that that is being fixed. Though whether it is being completely fixed or just uh, it, it's it's better now than it used to be, I don't know. Oh, fantastic positioning there. Let's also get an alignment rectifier. Um, I'll stick it on the top there. I mean, that's generally where I'm going to want it to be in order to uh, bounce me up the right way. I am going to need to go out. Did I? I actually did get the armor. I could spend a chunk on upgrading my armor, couldn't I? Let's go and do that. Let's buy a couple of these. 50 should do. That is more than I'm going to need. But it'll allow me to replace a good chunk of the armor on this. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here whilst I replace the armor. And then we'll see where we are in regards to tiers. I am going to try and... and generally speaking move up one tier per video that's why i said five videos because i'm going to try from one to tier five i haven't had very many people ask for help in getting from tier five to tier six because generally once you've reached tier five you're already pretty good with the game and you tend to know what it's going to require to move up to the next tier it might not mean that you can make the best bots but you have an idea of what you're doing and you don't really need to uh, ask someone for for advice on how to move up but uh, we'll see how this goes if if the, the uh, if i actually have enough fun doing this i might event keep this account pristine i will be returning to my main account after i've done the uh these tier tutorials up to tier 5 but i might come back to this account at some later time and then go from tier 5 to tier 10 perhaps but uh i will be right back and there we go i have caked as much of the item uh, as much of the uh bot in the new armor blocks and the reason i say caked is because it kind of looks like chocolate sponge with a little bit of white icing on top and it's actually making me remarkably hungry and no, I've never had a cake the shape of a robot before. Alas, I tended to have hedgehog cakes uh, growing up, or rabbit cakes, or dog cakes, because I kept hedgehogs and rabbits and dogs. Uh, fun times. Now then, I am about ready to take this out. As you can see, I've uh, added on the two other guns I took off. So we have got uh, some redundancy in our firepower here, and uh, I'm hoping this is going to work out quite well for us. But before we go, I'm just going to cover a couple more of the changes. As I mentioned, platoon uh, shields will show up in-game. What we saw before in uh, the battle, in fact, I'll just jump into the next battle. What we saw previously was just letting us know where our team was. Um, but... For the platoons, they will always be shown in green at all times. So you'll always know where your platoon members are. There's a hint bar you may have already seen. Uh, the battle lobby is obviously changed, as you notice. But uh, one change is uh, the radar is about 15% less range on it. Ah, and I forgot to turn on the... Ah, my lord. I forget to turn on chat constantly. I want to show off the different colors, damn it. Okay, let's, uh, let's see how this goes. Uh, enemy tags. Also, when you spot an enemy, they will scale in size to let you know how far away the enemy is, which is going to be quite useful. Ooh, that's a very interesting look. Tank there. I approve. There's a lot of creativity. Ah, uh, no, there's not. I was about to say, a lot of creativity on the team in the low levels, but no, no. Gun table. Still, I like your tank. Oh, it looks like we're going to go over here. Like ants. Oh, what? Damn it. Please drive better. And don't shoot me! I'm on your team, you fool! Hmm. Maybe one of us should... should make... Oh, has he got hovers? Well done, him. Our entire team is going this way. I actually do feel, feel almost like singing. But, uh, I, I will resist the urge. For your benefit. Alright. Unleash the lasers! All of them! At once! Must be leveled on this poor upturned foe. Uh, let me get her up. Don't kill him before I get up. Ah, oh, really? You didn't leave any for me. You greedy swine. Hey, you're getting getting your comeuppance now. That's right. I can't be shot by the lasers, but you can. That's what you get. Stealing the kills, you thief. Right. Uh, it looks like we can uh, entice them into battle if we just head to their base. But we'd be out in the open then. That probably wouldn't be too wise. I'm drifting terribly. Right, let's come on. Let's, let's move. Some of the other changes that have been added in this version are 
cosmetic changes. There's uh, the Galaxy Crash screen now looks much, much better than it did before. And there's a, a slight uh, animation difference on some of the buttons. It's extremely subtle, but it is it is nice to have, but uh, a bit harder to notice. Right, I'm not going to capture that. I want to go and kill people. Damn it. Where's your bloodlust? Horn would be very displeased. He would have no blood, no skulls. What kind of throne would you have him sit on? Looks like you're fairly close. My radar is letting me know where you are, which is fantastic. Hello? But as you notice, it, it, I needed to get really close before I would see that information. I really would like to actually not show in my belly. That's a bad part of me to show. Damn it. Oh, no. Stupid car. Okay. And one, two, three, go. There we are. Run away. No. Oh, I've lost my guns. Oh, this is terrible. I can't do anything. But we might win. We might win before I die. Maybe. Oh, I, I, I think I did, maybe. I don't know. I, I died. But we technically won. The, um, this is going to answer my question on whether you win if you die just before. <laughs> Victory. No. <laughs> oh, it does count then. Oh, I'll stop shooting at people then from now on. Because it's kind of pointless. Unless he got uh, an extra kill toted up for him. Perhaps. He might have, actually. And I got a scout bonus there. Not too bad. 541. That's, that's a bit more like the, the kind of amounts that I was expecting to see, honestly. Now then, I think we've got seven technology points. What can I afford with seven technology points? Nothing really. What I really like is that or this. So uh, I'm going to go out and I'm going to jump in a couple more battles. And I shall bring you back once I've earned enough to actually unlock something of worth. So I shall see you in a couple of minutes, no doubt. And welcome back. As you can see, I'm up to uh, level four. Now, I fought three additional battles whilst you're away. And I will keep track of how many fights I actually uh, take part in in order to earn the parts necessary for me to uh, level up. As you can see here, I've also unlocked wheel one and steering wheel, uh, sorry, wheel two and steering wheel two. And I'm just about to unlock the top mount SMG two. Oh, happy days. I even got enough left over for uh, a prism of armor tier one. Though we really want to get into tier two. We're not going to spend much time here. In fact, apart from these two items, I've unlocked everything that there is to unlock in tier one. So I probably will spend uh, time just uh, one more battle to unlock both of those. I've been seeing a lot of tech points coming through, like about 13, 14 tech points at a time for a, a good victory, which is uh, a little bit crazy, to say the least. Now, let's go ahead and uh, upgrade our wheels first and foremost. We want, yeah, let's take all six wheels up to the next tier. That will probably push us over into uh, tier two, I would imagine. Let's uh, have a look. Yeah, there we are. So, uh, first episode, we've actually gone into uh, Tier 2 with only five battles played so far. Granted, though, uh, the tech points do seem remarkably... Ah, wait, I recall. Okay, that explains it all. Um, because the servers were down today, I believe the Robocraft devs have uh, made a Robo Bonanza, uh, as they call it, and the victory points are doubled for the weekend. Um, I believe there's also a promo code out that will give you three days worth of premium, but I am not going to use any of that. The 100 Galaxy Cash that I've got up there, you start with with a new account, as I'm sure you're all aware. Um, I am not going to be doing anything uh, that would that would influence this this account. I'm perf just going to play. I'm not going to add any Galaxy Cash. That means I'm not going to be buying any uh, cosmetic parts at all. This is purely just to see how long it takes me to get to tier 5, or, or between any two particular tiers. And whilst we're on the topic of that, I should actually start buying some additional uh, parts, like uh, the hardware, because we're definitely going to need that in the next tier. So let's go ahead and buy... Oh, only three. Damn. Just shy. Oh, that's frustrating. Uh, well, we'll just buy three then. But the... Top, on the topic of tutorials on how to build anything, I will 
show the bots that I'm making as I work my way through the tiers. So I'm not sure if there will be a particular need for tutorials. At the moment, I don't plan to do any on the bots I'm using. But if there is a particular request or uh, perhaps in the, the higher tiers, it takes me a long time, much longer time to move up. So there's a lot of little edits on the bot, so it might be a little bit harder to follow than I could do one then. But if if you do particularly want to see any tutorials on the bots themselves, then I suppose that that would be fine. And uh, just let me know in the comments, and I'll see what I can do. But uh, I don't imagine anyone is going to particularly need a tutorial for this little beauty. I, I think it should be fairly self-explanatory how this one was built but yeah there we are we are a good way into tier two about one fifth of the way into tier two in just about i would say 40 minutes worth of play time now obviously moving from tier one to tier two that's to be expected i think fairly few people have asked for help with tier one to tier two the the Problems start seeming to occur around tier 2 to 3 and definitely 3 to 4 people seem to struggle with. But uh, that is it from me. As I said, I will be hoping to do a episode per tier. So in the future ones, I imagine I'm going to be grinding a lot more. So I will probably uh, uh, add more footage from the battles. But they, they will, again, just be a sample of the battles I've been in rather than uh, the battle after any big updates to the bot so uh you'll we'll have to see how that plays out but i think that is it for this episode so before we leave the, the final thing we're going to do we're, we're going to rename this to something uh let's think oh well, well we'll just go with the uh the chocolate hedgehog i think that's a fantastic robot name and i don't care what you think that is amazing but we are now at tier two. I believe uh, that means that we do have the uh, rank board. Yes, is that right? Previous year, yes. So uh, we should. Yeah, we'll start to see no one on there because I've got no friends on this uh, on this account. I hadn't even considered that, but uh, that is it from me. So uh, once again, I do hope you've enjoyed, and I hope you'll be joining me in the next. But until then, and as always, from myself and the Chocolate Hedgehog, do take care. Lambert and Tobin.